Hey everyone, we're doing a quick tutorial on how to install the uh, automatic topoff.com ATO kits. Um, as you can see, the kit comes with a controller with two floats and your power cords. Basically, uh, the reason it has two floats is because your first float is for your, for your sump water level and your second float is a safety device. Should the first float fail, for reasons of mechanical or simply a snail gets stuck in or, or whatever other reason, the second float is there to turn the pump off. So once your water level reaches to the point where this float activates, well, it turns the pump off. The kit also comes with a bracket. So as you can see, there's multiple holes drilled on, onto the bracket, so you, have, uh, you can install it on, on multiple levels. You're gonna wanna install the bracket first just to get a visual of, uh, of more or less where your, where your water level is in your sump. This way you can, you can see where to, to tie wrap the, the first float to the bracket. Okay, so if your water level is, reaches say right around here, you're gonna wanna tie wrap your float to the second, uh, second hole, second, third holes rather. The second float will mount right above that one. So you're gonna to wanna to mount it as close as possible to the, to the first float in series this way. I'll show you a better, uh, better example on our system in a second. So you have two ends, two plugs rather. This end plugs to your wall outlet, and this end you plug your pump. So once the, once the module turns this on, it turns your pump. We are on our shop tank, and as you can see, we have the same system set up. So the first float is there to monitor level in, in, in the sun, and the second floor is there just in case that first floor fails. 